Okay guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my Rab Down Micro Light Infinity Jacket. A lot of these down jackets have infinity in their name. I don't really know why. That Columbia one over there is also called infinity. Yeah, which is a little bit strange, but anyways, let's get into this review right now. The Rab Infinity Micro Light Down Jacket is a brilliant option for your outdoor adventures. This jacket, the one that I'm wearing right now, is packed with features that make it perfect for cold weather conditions, meaning that it is designed for maximum warmth and comfort. I've been wearing this jacket for the last 10 months on various different hiking and camping adventures, Therefore, I am really excited to give you an informed and opinionated review on this jacket. So yeah, let's dive into it, shall we? So quick public service announcement. I was actually given this jacket 10 months ago when I went to visit their factory with a bunch of other YouTubers up in the Peak District. But guys, let me be clear. That does not mean that Rab have had any effect on this video. I haven't spoken to them since that adventure. They have not reviewed this video. This is not a sponsored video. I'm making this video entirely off my own back. I just wanted to make sure that I had a ton of experiences in this jacket before I really jumped in and spoke about it. But yeah, that's enough intro. Let's just jump into the video. This jacket is made out of really high quality materials. The outer shell is made up of a Gore-Tex Infinium Windstopper outer fabric that is water resistant and windproof. Built with zoned micro and nano baffles, the 700 fill power, 100% recycled down has been body mapped to optimize warmth and breathability where you need it. Amazingly, this jacket is super lightweight and it can be scrunched down to a tiny size in your backpack, making it perfect for carrying on long hikes or on backpacking trips. I would have to say that one of the standout features of this Rab jacket is its adjustable hood. The hood is designed to fit snugly around the head and face, providing extra protection from the elements. It is also very adjustable, so you can easily adjust it to fit your head perfectly, and you can pull the cords really, really tight and scrunch it all the way up into your face if you're in those horrible weather conditions, or if you just wanna feel snug and like warm when you're sleeping in a tent at night. The hood also has somewhat of a wired peak. I'll show you right now. You can see there's a wire in the top here. This is to just help you stay protected from the wind and the rain, and it just keeps the shape of this hood really, really well. And it means, yeah, when you are caught in the rain, you're not gonna get drops dripping down into your eyes. It's just gonna fall off and maybe hit your chin, but probably just go past your face entirely. The jacket obviously has a full length front zip that is easy to you know pull up and down in any kind of conditions. It rarely ever gets snagged. The jacket also has two zippered hand pockets that are perfect to you know store small items like a keys or a phone or your wallet. And amazingly, it also has this upper chest pocket that you can stuff anything in. It's pretty deep. You can get a phone in there pretty easily and or a GPS device if you need it. Yeah, really happy with the pockets here. My only caveat is that there is no lining to these pockets, which means it's quite hard for your hands to get warm if they've been really cold, which in my experience, I've found that it's hard for me to warm up my hands once they've been you know, exposed to the wind for a long period of time, which is why I always carry a pair of lightweight gloves with me on any trek I go on, specifically when I'm wearing this jacket, because that lack of lining just means that you know your hands are up against this kind of outer shell fabric on the inside of the pockets, which isn't necessarily warm warm or soft to the touch. One thing that I really like about this jacket is its slim fit design. The jacket is designed to fit closely to the body, which means that it provides maximum warmth without feeling bulky or restricted. There are easy to access waist cinching cords and obviously hood cinching cords, and even the wristbands are very well elasticated, which means the whole thing stays tight and snug to your body, which overall just really traps that warm air inside the jacket. This jacket is also super easy to move around in, which means it's perfect for climbing or hiking or backpacking. You can move your arms, put your arms above your head very easily. It's not restrictive, it's not super, super tight, which is just, yeah, a nice little plus if you're an active person. I'd really say that this jacket has a high build quality as well. It really does feel like it's been designed to withstand the rigors of, you know, all different kinds of outdoor activities. I've also read that it is treated with a durable water repellent finish, which helps the whole thing to stay somewhat water resistant and just the overall keep it looking new even after repeated use. I mean, I've had this thing for nearly a year year now and I'd say because of this finish it still really does look brand new. I've taken this jacket out on multiple different hikes, multiple different wild camps. I've been all around the UK in it and to me it still looks great. There's not a single tear or hole in it. No feathers have bled through. It is just in completely good nick. Kept me warm through so much guys. And if you want to see this jacket in action, make sure you go and check out those videos after the end of this review. What I'd really like to see Rab do next with the next iteration of this jacket is to kind of pinch a few ideas from Columbia. I have one of their coats just here. So this is a Columbia Omni Heat Infinity jacket. It's also got infinity in its name, just like this Rab jacket. 
And as you can see, it's got a, oh, chill out. There's, there's bloody bikes outside, guys. I'm sorry about that. And as you can see, this jacket has got a reflective coating on the inside. And I would love to see Rab pinch that idea from Columbia and make their own version of it. I think they could develop some kind of lightweight reflective material that they include inside their own jackets because that would level up the heating of this jacket. As we've seen from the Columbia line, I think this reflective coating on the inside of this jacket would really help to, you know, keep our bodies as heated as possible and it would just keep on reflecting our body heat back inside the jacket. So I would really love to see that as a new addition in the jacket in the next version or iteration of this coat. Some of you may have seen that I've recently switched over to this specific Columbia Omni Heat Infinity jacket. It is, it is what I would describe as probably a winter down jacket. And yeah, I really like this jacket and I'm definitely gonna be continuing to wear it in my videos. But guys, this jacket is so warm that I think in, I guess, summer and maybe even parts of spring, I think we can expect to see me to have to take this off because it's gonna be too warm, which is actually why I think this jacket is probably the best option for you if you're looking to buy a new down jacket this, uh, this Christmas. Because this jacket is much more of an all round in my opinion, this jacket is more versatile. It's lighter, it's easier to put stuff in a bag, and you're gonna be able to wear it, you know, in spring, in summer, in autumn, and in winter, and be able to use it all the way through the season. I actually think jackets like that are too thick for the summer, and I don't think, purely because of the lack of pack down ability, I think it's gonna be left behind this summer, but we will see. But anyways, back to this Rab jacket. Overall, the Rab Micro Light Down Infinity Jacket is an excellent jacket for year-round conditions. It is lightweight, it is comfortable, it is stylish and it is packed with features that makes it perfect for all weather outdoor activities. It's clearly also very durable, easy to move around with, which makes it just a great choice for anyone who wants to spend lots of time outdoors, spend lots of time hiking or wild camping or just adventuring or even heading into town. That's the thing. This jacket, I think, is a great go-to for pretty much life full stop. It's a great way to stay warm. You can put this over a suit jacket. You can put this over pretty much anything, a dress, whatever you need. It's gonna, it's gonna keep you warm at any point point throughout the year and it's going to be a great thing for your arsenal a great thing for your wardrobe and if you are in the market for one then i can just say yes get it if you want to invest in it invest in it it's going to last you for multiple years and it's going to keep you warm throughout any conditions and any point of the year if you want to see this jacket in action make sure you go and check out the backlog of my hiking videos and if you're new here subscribe to the channel i would absolutely love for you to be a part of our community thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you in the next one very very soon peace Boom. <laughs>